today, uh, it will need some redefining because happy doesn't begin to describe how I feel, but I'm actually here. Because in the beginning I thought um, the flats would stop me from getting here. Um, but I'm here because it is a living God. I'm going to do this my way as always. Um, and so now I start. The Honorable, the Chief Registrar of the Judiciary, our RMC, our Deputy Chief Registrar, the Paramount Chiefs in the House. How are you? The Kawaida Chiefs in the House. <laughs> And the um when I talk about me assistant um those ones. Um and the headman in the house. How are you? I will tell you why I'm happy to be here. Uh this time it's for a number of reasons. Let's see. I am extremely delighted to join you all today and I'm grateful for the opportunity to once again deliver remarks at the close of this important annual forum. We must not take for granted His grace and infinite mercy that sees us gather here together who we know across the nation much suffering has been wrought by the extended rains we are currently experiencing. It is in this spirit of unsurpassed mercies and being grateful to the Almighty God that I address you today. The theme of this year's forum is enhancing organizational growth and sustainability through shared leadership. It is not by chance that the opening presentation of this year's forum was on the institutional blueprint, the social transformation to access to justice, stage. It cannot be overemphasized, and thus bears the repeating that the subordinate courts, particularly the magistrates and Cadiz courts, are the engine of the justice provision in the judiciary. The first point of contact for the majority of clients seeking justice through the formal justice system. As such, you, at some station, the leadership in these notes are central to the achievement of the judiciary's strategic objectives for the people-centered justice as contained in the stage institutional vision. The tribunals too have their place but this is about you, the heads of courts. Allow me, however, to put paid to a common misconception of the principle of inclusiveness and shared leadership under the stage. The principles of inclusiveness and shared le leadership envisage a justice system that involves diverse perspectives and fosters collaboration in decision-making process. It does not and cannot represent absconding duty on the dilution of responsibility through inappropriate delegation or through the avoidance of accountability under the guise of collective action. As leaders, you must not only lead by example in regard to court performance and case management, you are responsible for planning, budgeting, and doing all those things that require that a leader leads from the front. You must not only budget for court activities, you must manage court station finances, you must manage procurement processes and you must 
manage human resource management as well as other day-to-day -day operations of our stations. As you leaders, you must include, inculcate, and articulate to all judiciary personnel in the station the institutional vision. You bear overall responsibility and accountability for human resource management, including the wellness and psychosocial support, the finance and accounts, the supply chain management, the project management, the facilities maintenance, the performance management, the registry operations, harnessing uh, ICT, organizing training and learning, communication and stakeholder engagement, and dealing with all issues that affect the service delivery to our court users who pay our salaries. Shared leadership to me means and includes that you must consult, that you must partner, that you must allow for robust and genuine public participation that within constitutional, and you stay within constitutional lanes, and in the spirit of inter independence, you must enhance the ability of all actors to effectively realize their respective mandates. But the overall responsibility for the effective administration and dispensation of justice at and through your station, unfortunately, rests with you, the head of station. Do not read shared leadership to somehow divest you of this important responsibility and accountability. My colleagues, you discussed the judiciary data tracking dashboard and the status of e -filing. Allow me to link these important ICT solutions to another important topic that you also discussed, that of performance and individual accountability. It is most distressing to hear of incidents and techniques through which judicial officers are trying to manipulate the data and fool the systems. I have news for you. Stop it and stop it now. It won't work. I am sure the director I see described the manner in which the system continues to be improved daily and to be developed daily. This development is to enhance its usability and accuracy as well as to seal potential avenues of abuse. Instead of investing such energy in unscrupulous and injudicious skills, it would be more useful to be constructively, uh, to constructively contribute towards a better, fairer system. And we are watching. The leadership is acutely aware of the immense workloads facing you. And the not so good conditions under which you work. This must all be discussed, solutions agreed, and fully implemented by you. But the use of the data and ICT to enhance individual accountability and to improve performance is here to stay. I would urge us all to recognize this and to do just one thing, the right thing. On data and individual accountability, I must reassert that the PMMUs are the
the foundation of the performance management system in the judiciary. As heads of station, you must engage with the implementation of your station's PMMU with the utmost seriousness. Sincerity. And with an attitude of improvement, efficient, people-centered service delivery. There's no other way. I have had reports of laxity and duplicity among heads of station in this regard. Should this be tolerated? Mm -hmm. I think the answer is no. Chapter 7 of the Guide for Heads of Station, which we developed ourselves, is clear that the head of station is responsible and accountable for the overall performance of his or her station and must put in place a good performance management system that helps the judicial officers and staff in the station to understand the stations and the institution's objectives and what they are expected to do to achieve these goals. But my dear colleagues, I was delighted to see attached to the program the key resolutions that emerged from Nanuki when we last met there last year. This is a fantastic tracking tool, and I think this system must be adopted at all fora for other courts as well. I noticed, however, that there was no opportunity provided in the program to discuss the status of implementation of each of the resolutions we made last year in Nanuki. Perhaps that this was done during one of the sessions, I don't know, since I didn't attend. But it is important to, for effective implementation, that the resolutions are discussed and responsible parties given opportunity to update us on those, to update those in attendance on the achievements made or the challenges faced. Our start institutional blue, uh, blueprint is people-centered. It focuses on the justice capabilities, justice needs, and justice problems of our people. Organizational growth and sustainability must be linked directly to justice realities on the ground. A key aspect of this reality is the plurality of justice provision and the agency and justice capability of people and communities in addressing their own justice concerns. As heads of station, you are not only adjudicators, cognizant of the particular justice needs and avenues in your constituency. Please be deliberate, be innovative, and collaborative in developing people-centered activities and interventions that will have socially transformative impacts within the communities where we serve. My brothers and sisters, um, I'm just about to declare this 11th forum Closed, but before I do that, I thank you, Madam Arensi, and all of you that were involved in the successful organization of this year's forum for your work and effort, especially the speakers for their presentations. I look forward to future engagements with you and ask you to internalize the presentations the materials and the learning that you have gained over these past few days. 
As always, you are assured of my support if you need it. All you need is ask for it. Um, and you know where I sit. Those who don't know where I sit in the Supreme Court building, you have my telephone number. I thank those who continue to call me um, to assist in veteran the way we deliver justice. I thank you for listening to me. And I wish you well and safe travels as you go back either home or to your stations. And with those many remarks, this forum is officially closed.